All right, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Um, so, you know, gotta love technology. I had filmed a bunch of uh, footage of this install that you're about to watch. And as I was editing the videos, uh, it kept telling me that it was corrupt. So, uh, which is weird. I've never had that happen on my phone before. So I, uh, tried messing with it through screen recording. I tried, uh, shutting, uh, you know, cutting it into shorter lengths. I, I tried all kinds of stuff. So, um, there is a section that you're going to miss, uh, where I talk about how to disassemble the panel. Um, it, it's really not that hard. So the, the panel, all it is, is two 10 millimeter bolts. And then, uh, you want to grab a hold of it at the top. And there's almost like a little lip that like curls over and you just pop that off on the, towards the passenger side. And once that's popped off, uh, then it, it there's three other little clips that hold it in and you can just kind of give it a, a, a good, you know, firm pull straight out and it'll come off of there. Um, so hopefully that's the only thing that's missed. And uh, if not, then we'll see. I uh, just noticed the, don't mind the dog slobber all over my back window. Apparently they like to put their noses all over everything. You know, another thing, gotta love, gotta love your animals, right? So, all right, hope you enjoy. So what you just watched was me pulling uh, this panel out of the back of the truck there and then I went ahead and found my marks. I was going to put them in the side over here after looking at kind of the space that was there and, and the way that the power wires, because my power wires come across this way and I didn't want to have to wrap them in so now they can just come back around and come right in the back. Measured out. Drilled a couple of holes. Uh, if you aren't comfortable drilling holes and stuff like that, it, it's not a big deal in plastic like this. Just make sure you have the right size. And saw me uh, checking the sizes there. So now that they're all in, you can see on the back, they're just held on with some little plastic nuts. What I'll probably do is I'll put a little drop of super glue uh, right down here in these corners to where that ring can't vibrate loose as it's coming around. So I'll put a little drop in a couple of places around here on each one of these so it can't loosen up and vibrate loose. We'll get some power wires ran and uh, this will be ready to reinstall. Alright, so we've got our glue in there setting up. Like I said, just kind of a couple of spots. Now, both of these came with their own wiring. One of them is a lot shorter than the other. This one here will actually reach where I'm trying to draw power from. This one will not. So what I'm going to do, since each of these have their own fuse in them, I'm going to go ahead and clip this end off and I'm going to use it on a new terminal that I'll attach to this end of the positive one. And then I'll use this jumper and I'll clip this end off and I'll attach a new end. And basically I'm gonna go from the positive on this one over and tie into the positive on this one, but I'm gonna do it with its own fuse. That way each one of these circuits have their own fuses as they come in. And then each one will have their own ground. It's also, my power supply is a 50 amp relay that comes in over here on a six gauge uh, solid wire from the battery. So. All of that should be fine as far as the power draw and everything's concerned. So we'll get that all set up. I see fire burning, but I close my eyes. Everything is falling out of place. 
All right, so in the back of the truck you saw I had the two ground points. Um, the pieces are gonna come out right around in here, knowing that that's where they're gonna be and knowing that the ground points are gonna be on this side. I think I'm gonna use this little nut or stud right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean some of this paint off real quick with the wire wheel, clean it back in here, make sure we have a good connection point and then I'll put a nut on that, and that way we can ground it right there, and then it'll come right over here for my power source. And there you have it. So real simple dual outlet. There's plenty of room on the side so that when things are plugged in, when the seat's closed, the wires can route right through here, right against the seat or right up and out and just the cord can just hang here. And that way the kids can charge whatever they're using, phones or tablets, or if I wanna charge camera batteries or whatever like that, I can just route it right up through, stuck it right behind here. It's still got slack. I can even route it over here, make sure it's out of the way if I want. And there's still plenty of cord to reach down. You know, there's usually stuff sitting in the seat here anyway, so, um, but yeah. I think that will do uh, just in case, you know, if I want to make sure that everything's off, if my truck's going to be sitting for a period of time, then right down here in the corner is my 50 amp breaker uh, for my compressor. And all I have to do is just hit the little button here and pop open the breaker. And then there is no power. So I don't have to worry about it draining my battery. So there you go. Uh, I know, kind of down and dirty, uh, quick little install, but it really is that simple. Uh, if you don't have power run from here, then what you can do is make sure you get a, uh, I would recommend at least a six gauge wire and just run it from your battery. And you can run it right along the door sill here. Excuse me, my truck's filthy. Um, you can just run it right along the door sill right here, tuck it under the carpet. It'll actually go behind this and then just mount it back there. And then uh, you can get these breakers in 50, 80, 100 amp. They come in all different ones uh, on Amazon. And I'll link the breaker. Uh, I'll link those so you can have those as well. And then uh, got some more adjusting to do on the compressor setup uh, before we can do a video on that. Uh, I don't want to make any recommendations before it's 100%. So. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. So unsure. Did we deserve more or the burden that you left is way too heavy for me? Do you ever feel like the world would die out? My anxieties up the roof I cry out. We have gone too far, take me back right now.